Let's talk about Ons. Ons is on a nine match win streak in Madrid. You know, she won this tournament in 2022. She loves these conditions playing in the altitude. I spoke about it in my preview when she played Fernandez, how much she uh, loves the high bounce and how it really helps her attacking forehand. The variety, the slice is super effective in altitude. The way she can just take her opponent's pace and redirect and change directions really often and just that all court finesse, it's really bothersome, especially for an opponent like Keys. Now, Keys. Her record in Madrid is not so good. I mean, you would think with her serve, her kick serve, her forehand, she should be doing better in Madrid. And you'd be surprised to know that she last won a match here coming into this tournament back in 2016. She has a 3-9 and nine career record in Madrid, by far her worst of all the WTA 1000s. And she's remedied that this week. You know, she's taken out Samsonova. She beat Goff from 2-4 down in the third set with a lot of help from Coco, to be honest, with Coco's double faults and unforced errors on the forehand. But regardless, you know, she's in this position. This is some of the best she's played in altitude clay. Uh, but Jabor, to me, I think with the disruption, the variety, the, her ability to change directions, the fact that she just got through Ostapenko as well today, who plays similarly, in the in the sense that I feel like if Jabor isn't at 100%, she can still find ways to win this match. Keys has to be at an absolute... She, Keys has to be feeling it and playing some of her best tennis. So I think that's the key difference as well. And that's why I'm giving Ons an edge. You know, she's on a nine-match win streak here for a reason.